a second. Morning, beautiful, beautiful. So welcome, Bobby, Kara, Jeannie, and Chris. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit real quick about the successes we had it, for Veterans Day, which was very short notice. I saw some people pull off some incredible stuff on Workplace Chat. Uh, one of them is on here with us. He's getting some coffee. I'm going to have Chris, as soon as he uh, gets his coffee, come back and unmute. I want to hear about uh, what he pulled off. Um, while we're waiting on anybody else that ran one, uh, we'd like to hear what you did too. So Stacy and I went to the Veterans Memorial here on the Northeast side of Columbus. We had a chance to uh, actually piggyback off the American Legion and BFW, um, their event that they were having, where they dedicate a brick for veterans into this uh, permanent landscape um, that, that's there where they can get a brick inscribed with their name or you can get it in memory of your favorite veteran or some people had stuff just like in memory of 9-11, uh, all kinds of stuff, really cool stuff. There's an application you fill out and it's really inexpensive, 40 bucks. So we're gonna be honoring some veterans um, we uh, hooked up with the VFW and the American Legion, and we're going to work with them, we believe, to launch a scholarship for a veteran or veteran spouse who wants to become a real estate agent. So it's going to be exciting on that. Um, we're super happy about that. And uh, if you're not in the uh, workplace chat group, Drop, drop down in the chat, if you will, and we will uh, make sure you get added to that where you can keep up. That's where we just kind of uh, talk about everything in there. If you want to be added to that, we'll do that. And with that, that's what Stacey and I pulled off. Very short notice. It was great. And we know for everybody else it was too, but it looks like some other people had stuff more organized than what we had. Um, Chris, if you're back from getting coffee, let's hear what you did, brother, if you're back yet. He says he's getting coffee on there. Um, Kara, I see you on here. I get, we got Mike logging on right now. Bobby, I see you on here. Did you guys uh, do uh, anything for Veterans Day or are you just your first time jumping on to get some information? What is that Zoom for? Go ahead. You're welcome to welcome to talk, whoever's, uh, whoever that was. All right, beautiful. Stace, what do you want to add? She's behind us over by the fireplace because she's freezing because She's used to living on an island now. If it's not 85, she's cold. You have to come over here for them to hear your voice. We're recording this. She's oh boy. Um, one thing that we thought about doing. Her shirt does say Pappy's. That's her her bourbon. There you go. Uh, one thing we thought about doing was uh, sponsoring um, maybe some veteran families for the holidays that might be in need of maybe home cooked meals. A great idea. Yeah, we have some some of a lot of the veterans can't leave their house. So maybe just a little bit of company dropping off some food. Shut-ins. Shut-ins. That's great. And we're going to get those names from the VFW, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So the VFW is the former mayor of the uh, part of the city there. So, hey, how you doing, Bobby? You're new to EXP. Welcome to EXP, brother. Um, what are just maybe there's some other people on here who are brand new because this is going to go on YouTube and things like that. What the uh, EXP Military Network for is for veterans and veteran families. Um, it's sponsored by veterans, for veterans, but anyone can be involved. If you are somebody who supports our military, we'd love to have you be a part of it. Um, there's going to be um, referral opportunities back and forth. So there's a couple workplace groups. If you're new to EXP, like uh, Bobby says he's new to EXP, you're probably familiar with Workplace. Inside Workplace, there's the EXP Military Network Group you're going to want to join, and the EXP Military Network Referral Group. There's two different groups you're going to want to join both of those. Just go into the search box inside Workplace. It functions just like Facebook, and so that'll be great. I see uh, Chris jumped on here. Chris, unmute for me, brother. Let's hear what you did. I know you had a bunch going on up in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, so we had a bunch of events go on, and we're continuing to move the city of Cleveland has actually pushed a real good initiative with this new mayor and has made the month the Veterans Month. So we started out, uh, well, I started out in the city of Lakewood with an event on Thursday. We gave a speech to a middle school in Lakewood, which was fantastic. Uh, had a bunch of fifth through eighth graders. We really got them involved, did, uh, did a cool speech and talked about getting different perspectives in life. And I used, uh, used a couple of the points of performance on, on jumping and uh, from free fall to static line jumps and how you view the earth from 30,000 feet down to a uh, thousand feet. 
and how you can just change, steer the parachute and pick your drop zone and how that refers to life and how you can view how you land on different uh, different philosophies of life and view view things from higher up and just change your perspectives. A little more eloquent when I was talking to him, but uh, we also emceed and ran the event for the city uh, of Cleveland downtown and set up a resource fair and served uh, close to 200 vets on Friday. We had food passed out, coats passed out, and uh, boots from different sponsors and 60 plus vendors that helped everywhere from Cleveland Public Power and the City of Water to Neopat to the VA and EXP military slash my my group was down there helping talk about housing, that HUD VASH programs, things like that. It was it was outstanding. Tonight we're meeting uh, at a urban farm and talking about veterans initiatives and general Honore is flying into town, so we're meeting with him and having a private event. And then we'll be discussing veterans initiatives at the City Club. So tomorrow, if anybody's interested in up here in the area, the City Club Forum, we have tickets available to discuss veterans initiatives with a retired three-star general that's still working in the government initiatives, especially the VA. And uh, you can bring up your your ideas and your areas of concern with him tomorrow from 11 to 1. And he's primarily interested in the, the younger vets, the ROTC, as well as female veterans hitting those initiatives. So that would be awesome. And then Friday, I posted, uh, I still have a lot of free tickets and can get more if we run out for the Cavs game. So if anybody wants to come to the Cavs game, Love to see you there. Uh, I still have about 60 tickets left. Like I said, I can get more. That's, that's this Friday, Chris? Uh, this Friday at 7.30 is their veterans game. And actually, that's one of our new partners. So I'll, I'll get in that in a second. But uh, love to see you there. And uh, I can get you tickets to that game. But so is that for, uh, uh, start- veterans, for veterans only or for EXP agents only? What's the uh, What's the criteria on that? So... It should be for veterans, their families and spouses. Um, You know, I'll hook you up, but it's preferably for veterans and and veteran families. You know, if you're if you're a descendant of a veteran, I got you. You're part of our military network. I'll hook you up. So that's why I posted it. Uh, If you know a vet that wants to go to the game. Where'd you post it, Chris? On our our page. On our uh, EXP military network in our chat group, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. If you're not seeing it, I'll I'll resend it. But I yeah. got a couple of stuff gets pushed. There's night. so many chats that come through. I think it gets pushed like way down the page or whatever. And I'll pin it to the uh, top. All right. I'll I'll also send my number out in this chat. So if you want it, just text me. You need a Seat Geeks account, and uh, love to get you the tickets. But we start a meeting, too, every Tuesday with a group from the city of Cleveland, including the cabs. And uh, we're really pushing the veterans initiative uh, throughout the year. So our next event and our next resource fair that we're going to be setting up is going to be focused on the Armed Forces Week. I mean, it's not till May, but there's a lot of work to be done. So we're going to do two fairs. One's going to be set up in... uh, the east side and then one's going to be set up on the west side so and until then we're going to be targeting homelessness and working on a tiny homes project up in cleveland with a couple other uh, heavy hitters beautiful man that's a uh, amazing stuff that you're doing that's great love it um i see uh aaron sattler on here aaron i know you had a bunch of stuff going on up there you want to uh, unmute and share here uh with what's going on what, what you did for Veterans Day? Yeah, so can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, so Veterans Day, we had, uh, <clears throat> I partnered with a local photographer, also using for my uh, listings. So he uh, set up at the Hartville Market, <clears throat> which is a big market around here. Um, they gave us a space and uh, offered drinks. <clears throat> I bought uh, meals for every veteran that signed up to get a headshot. We actually had 
people in the marketplace that are veterans came over and got headshots too. So uh, I think we ended up with about 25 total. And uh, so pretty good turnout. <clears throat> got a little uh, news media on it with Fox News. So yeah, man, great stuff. Awesome, uh, great work. Everybody put put together some amazing stuff in such a short uh, period of time with the uh, notification. So I love it. The old military, uh, here's the mission. <laughs> now let's figure out a battle plan and we need it done by yesterday, right? So great job, everybody, on that. So yeah, the holidays are coming up. Um, if anybody is going to be doing anything for the holidays, make sure you put uh, the ideas in there for people that want to help out. Um, between uh, Aaron and uh, Chris, did you guys have any affiliated partners chip in or is this all out of your own pocket right now? Uh, so I'm a part of a BNI and president of a BNI group down here. So I did get some of my BNI members with the, for insurance and lender uh, pitched in as well. How about you, Chris? So everything we do, I'm also the port, uh, president of Joint Veterans Council okay. and have a couple other organizations. So I'm able to get support through that as well. And then my our team from NEO Homes donates their time. Cool. So, and then we'll be what's coming up through food. I mean, there's a couple, couple places up here, you know, we'll be supporting the VFW and the Legion and a couple of initiatives. Um, the biggest thing that we see right now is people are in need of cold weather gear, especially up here by the lake. Right. So, if, and it's big coats not little coats. So if you people know of places that you can get us like 2X, 3X, and XL coats, those sizes, we'll take them. Beautiful. So if you're an agent and you're watching this right now and you're like, well, I don't have maybe the, I'm not the president of the BNI like uh, Aaron is or something like that, or you're not running the veteran thing with Chris and you're like, I don't want to be the point person. They need help. And they could use help, right, guys? Uh, that's something that would be very helpful for you in the area. Um, Stacy and I are in Central Ohio. Um, go ahead. Do you want to add something? Come on over. Talk. I was just going to say that we'll also have Jim, since he's kind of the point person for Ohio, put it out in the regular. Because I'm sure the regular agents that aren't even a part of the military network would chip in. We're talking about on the Ohio page. Community yep, the Ohio community workplace community page. Yep. Committee push an email out not all us watch that workplace chat. And we're supposed to be showing up soon in the newsletter. I believe it's going to be going out, but I don't okay. know if everybody watches for that. And, message out for sure. and we'll be talking about them on the broker groups too. So we can do that and uh, to help disseminate the information. So you're probably wondering if you're watching this as an agent, you know, well, how can I help? Well, you can jump in and you can talk to one of these leaders like uh, Aaron or Chris, and then we're going to have some leaders also in the Dayton, Cincinnati area. These guys have Northeast uh, Ohio. Uh, Jeannie, who you just seen popped on the screen, she's with us here in uh, Central Ohio. But many of those locations work for you, or maybe you just have your own little area. Uh, I had a, a woman, Kimmy. Um, she's not on here right now, but she's going to be watching this, I'm sure. She did a great event in Medina. But you're in a smaller area, maybe you're in Lima, Ohio, or something like that, and you're like, hey, I, I don't want to go to Cleveland to do my event. I want to do something here. You can absolutely run some events we uh, and things that you want to do. Why is that beneficial? Because you're going to be giving back to veterans, of course, who we owe everything uh, that we have in this country to the people that protect, defend, and want to go fight in our place to uh, give us the freedoms that we have, right? So you, maybe you're somebody who wants to give back to that. And then ultimately, if you're the person running the events and things in your area, um, you know, sometimes some real estate deals come out of it. Uh, the guy, the head of the VFW said, hey, you guys missed me by a month. He goes, and uh, what was the sales price on his place today? 650 or something like that he did. But that connection, it's the personal connections in there that will help you with that. Plus, you're going to see referrals that are uh, coming back and forth that you're going to be doing across the country. So Ohio's a big place for military. And uh, I appreciate everybody jumping in, uh, Chris, Aaron, and then Kimmy and everybody else that uh, did events that's not on here right now that's going to be watching the recording afterwards. Amazing job getting it up and running. And uh, the great part about this is there isn't really a uh, command, if you will. Uh, Stacey and I are in this just like you. If you have a great idea and you want to run with it, if you want to run it by us just to make sure it's compliant, uh, but we're going to tell you to go. Go hit it and go. It's your deal. You can go and run it. And some of these cities are big enough 
Columbus, Cleveland, Cincy, where you can have different suburbs. You know, Stacey and I worked on the northeast side. I have Jeannie on here. Maybe she wants to run something more on the north side of Columbus, right? A different suburb. We can totally, as we grow this thing, break it out into even smaller sections and divide the city up even more as we go. And of course, all of us work together. So uh, if anybody has any questions, you can drop them in the chat or you can unmute, but I like to keep these short and sweet. Go ahead, Chris. So one of the things we always notice is that it, it gets hard for veterans during the holidays and we're coming up to those times. There's two things that are important that we remember is a hey, check on your buddies. You know, they, uh, they may be forgotten or maybe remembered somebody or some hardship during this time. So if you think of somebody, just reach out to them at a moment's notice, uh, because that's the most important thing is just letting them know that they're remembered. The second thing is I just posted in the chat, Jim, if you could pin that along, there is a link to the VFW's unmet needs. As long as it's not a self-created hardship, such as gambling or things like that, there is a one-time grant through the VFW, if you need financial assistance, you can apply for a $1,500 grant. We always know that uh, the holidays create their own hardships, uh, that the VFW can look into this and give you uh, financial assistance. Uh, this is one of the positions that I'm a national chairman of, and you can reach out to me as well. Uh, but it's you can go direct to assistance, don't have to talk to anybody and they can look to help you. We just helped one of Ohio's soldiers uh, that was in need, so. I love that, that is huge. Great information on that, Chris, that's awesome. And um, if anybody's looking for any EXP Military Network swag, uh, I'm wearing one of the hats right now. We have shirts too that you can get. Um, there are shirts that are even state specific. So it says EXP Military Network Ohio. I put the link in there. It's uh, the millnet.myshopify.com. It's on a Shopify account. You can go there, you order shirts. Ladies uh, that are that are on here, uh, you can get it in pink and stuff. It's really cool they have, and they're going to keep adding things as we go. But the idea is this, EXP wants to be service-based first. We want to be in the community, be invisible, doing service like you got Chris and Aaron here doing, and Kimmy and everybody else that participated that will be watching the recording on this. Um Great job on that, and uh, let's keep moving forward. We'll meet every two weeks. Like I said, I'll keep these short. I will record them, but if you can jump on, we're going to do it immediately after the um, the Ohio Broker meetings. Like as soon as it ends, we'll start these up. It'll be the same link, but we'll post it in the Ohio Broker chat. We'll also put it in the chat group for the uh, Ohio EXP Military Network. So I want to say uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys uh, did the great job getting out there and getting this thing going with very little direction and guidance. And you run these, you ran these awesome events helping the veterans. So uh, thanks for those of you who are jumping on. Join the EXP workplace groups. There will be a uh, there will be a questionnaire you'll fill out, and that's how we'll know you've been assigned to Ohio once you fill it out, because it'll ask you the state you're in. And then we'll have your contact info and we'll add you to our chat group so you can keep up to date on what's going on there. And you'll get great information like Chris has with the uh, seats to the Cavs game, his phone number, and the links for these uh, incredible VFW grants that you can put out for veterans in your area. So thanks everybody for jumping on. If there's no more questions, we'll end it short and sweet and let you get to selling, some, selling something. We all good? I see a thumbs up from Aaron. Good, Chris gave a wave. Jeannie, you're all good? All right. Thanks guys. I'll get the recording out. I'll put it on the YouTube link and send it out. You can share it around to anybody else. And we're looking for more people to help. If you know EXP agents that like the military, bring them in, help out. We're, uh, we've got a great group going. See everybody. Have a great one. Bye, Bobby. Welcome to EXP, brother. Bye, guys.